to you, nations of hypocrites. For in front of you stands the tall queen. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? It's locked. I can't believe I'm doing this. dead enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah. But Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you. But I can help you. I'm a doctor. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die, for that was her final wish. Whoa, arise and save your queen. Oh, man. 
to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher. The greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Farewell, Doris. Bravo! So dramatic! I love it! McCullum! How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I've put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. It's locked, all right. The West End should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection. While I continue my research to the great These people want me dead. I need to leave now. So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Mr. Contagion Mark, through school. Are you? Very disturbing. Over there! There's one of them firm!
Welcome back, Dr. Reed. I have a boat ready to go whenever I want. These hunters won't catch me. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. For as long as I've been a member, I've never seen so few vampires attending the club. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. As you wish, my lord. Good. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Your word is my command. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson, to make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I won't do it. The very thought of it makes me sick. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Please, tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. 
What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but... I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. I cannot enter. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood.
I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. It's locked, all right.
believe I'm doing this. Teasdale, are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again.
It's locked. I hope you can stay a little longer. Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous, and you'd better be careful. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it, with just one phone call. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian. Haven't I told you about the investigation? Uncle? All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? What are you really doing here? What about the... I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to come. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation... Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. No, I... All right. What are you investigating? I have a missing... Tell me about Louise T. She's a waitress. Uh... Do you have any idea where she could be? No. Tell me all you know about that homicidal man. I'm not even sure there is only one. The... How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my thi... Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? 
Is there anything wrong? No. Nope. I think I would remember. So I... That's odd. I'm... I'm afraid not, sir. Hmm. The pleasure is... What can you tell me about a look? I've heard this is a man who is so... Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Good evening. Sir. Yes, please. That's all you need. Well, is it not in... I suppose... I am Agamem... What can you tell me? About... You should ask that question to my brother instead. Per... Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. It's locked, all right. Jonathan Reed. I beg your pardon, sir. Of course you do. You are the leader. Primate of the brother. The cards told you to expect. Yes, they tell me everything. They told me. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. Yes, of course. He's not the only one. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Perhaps London will survive the epidemic, but I see terrible trials awaiting in the future. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying of my progeny?
Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. I learned that myself the hard way. Oh my god, man, stop your whining. I don't have time for your pointless jibber-jabber. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He didn't survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well? Get rid of me, then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you, then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. <laughs>
Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! We meet again at the strangest of times, young Ekon. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones. She agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you, then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. And science fails you. This elixir. It's locked. Vampire hunters here already. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar?
McCullum and his thugs are taking the credit for Edgar's abduction. They really mean business. Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Ultraviolet curtains and Ori Kelton powder. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for one. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh. Uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Close your eyes! This is gonna hurt. If you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? <laughs> the blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. Show some style. 
fight like a man. Yeah. Tense, doesn't it? Yeah. 